am so excited because I'm going to be doing a reading vlog with these three books and I did not know that much about them when I was at Barnes and Noble I was just like overwhelmed with the excitement that I had that I discovered there are Disney books out there I have no idea how I have not known that I have no idea how no one has told me that before but once I actually it was Dom who went into the like young adults fantasy section and started like seeing all of these different books and I literally had to practice so much self-control not buying them but in this vlog I'm going to be reading these three books two of them are part of the Twisted Tales series and the other one is a part of the villain series so I have I just kind of like randomly picked them again I didn't really look into any of them on like good goodreads I was about to say google reads on goodreads or amazon or anything like that because I was just so excited so I picked these purely based off of who the characters are or what kind of the premise is about so the first one that I'm going to be reading is by Serena Valentino in the villain ser series and it, I can't talk apparently and it is the kill the beast book I'm so excited it just sounds so fun and y'all look at the cover literally brilliant so i'm so excited and this book is essentially kind of like the prequel to the beauty and the beast story that we know and have seen in the movies and it basically just shares like who gaston is who was gaston before like we came to know gaston and it's his whole like upbringing his childhood and i'm so excited it's about his friendship with the prince i think it's gonna be so good and sounds like such a good premise for a book and i'm gonna start with this one admittedly gaston and hades are my two favorite villains so of course i saw this and had to get this and this is a part of a twisted tale series which from the looks of it it looks like there are several different authors who write the books in a twisted tale series um so i grabbed this one by jan kalanita and essentially the twisted tale series is just a series of like what if stories with all of the Disney stories and like what if in the movie something different completely happened or what if after the movie then this happened this book in particular is like the what if scenario right after the movie Hercules that we have seen and it's what if Meg became a Greek god so it follows her going on a quest that Hera sends her out on she's got 10 days to complete the quest and if she completes it then she can be with Hercules and stay a god and if not then she is back to earth as a mortal and then the last one is also in a twisted tale series it's by Pharaoh Rochin. I'm not sure if I'm saying her name correctly, but I feel like I recognize both these authors' names, and so I'm going to have to look up and see if they've written other books that I'm familiar with, but this is Fate Be Changed. I don't know if I already said the title, and it follows Merida, which, hello, obviously I love Merida because she's got the red curly hair just like me. So this is another, like, what if story, but instead of it being after the movie or even, like, the prequel like Gaston's is, this is what if the witch gave Merida a different spell, and so now instead of the movie panning out the way we saw it, kind of more closer to the beginning how we know she went and got like the spell from the witch for her mom but what if Merida took that spell so I feel like that is super interesting and intriguing it too and I'm a genuinely y'all like you should have seen me at the bookstore I was freaking out and there are so many Disney books like this series alone the villain series which I think Serena Valentino is the only author of this series there were so many books so once I fin finish these if I like them I'm definitely gonna have to go back and get more and yeah let me know if y'all have read any of these if you have tried out any of these series or if you've read any other Disney books because I am truly just so excited and I'm just so excited to be bringing y'all along for this vlog too because I feel like it's gonna be so fun just to read these and go on this little Disney book journey together Have a really big confession to make and that is that i'm almost done with kill the beast i am on page 320 and i think there's around 420 so i only have 100 pages to go and today is the first day that i am actually filming this so we went to barnes and noble a couple days ago and that's when i bought all of the books and i knew i wanted to do like a disney themed vlog just reading the disney books and I just jumped right into reading Gaston and every time I read I was like no 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 I'll film later so yeah I had just planned on catching y'all up to speed like the 
day after I had first started reading and I just got hooked and every time I was reading it was like later at night and I was like I can't talk about it and now here we are only a hundred pages away from finishing it I haven't filmed anything about this book this is the first one obviously it's since it's like the first in the clip um it's the first one I've read out of any of the Disney books that I got and I'm obsessed I cannot believe that no one told me all of these books existed and it took me so long to actually start to read them since I kind of jumped the gun on this book in particular kind of wanted just to share my thoughts and then we will finish these last 100 pages I'm planning on finishing tonight and potentially even starting one of the other ones tonight but so far I love it because it makes like the movie makes so much sense and I know obviously the movie came before the book I get that I know that don't worry I'm aware however the way that this author this one's written by Serena Valentino the way that she has just like so seamlessly woven all of the like most perfect details into this book it truly like my jaw has been dropping because I'm like oh my gosh I'm like well that connects to that and like that's why like Gaston is the way that he is and all of this stuff and it has just been so much fun especially because Gaston is one of my favorite villains and so the backstory of this particularly in this I know there's actually one other um, villains book that I think is about Gaston or the Beast but the way this one is written I just like feel so much empathy for Gaston and I had a feeling that that was the way it would be but yeah just this entire book it's like making it all make so much perfect sense I will say something that I did not realize and I probably should have looked into further but when I was grabbing these I didn't realize that there was a particular order that you were supposed to read them in and I really don't think it matters that much like it is a standalone story and what I was excited about with Serena Valentino's books in particular is that it is like there weren't any made up characters but come to find out like there are some newer characters that she has created that are introduced specifically in this book and if you're reading her books in order then there is a whole another book it's called the odd sisters where these like newer characters are introduced so it doesn't make me like it any less it definitely makes me wish that i had like known to read them in order but i'm just super intrigued by like these newer characters so yeah that's just something to note that you technically are supposed to read them in a particular order and because i haven't done that i really can't tell you like why it matters so much but my guess is just that there are some newer characters that are introduced earlier on in the series i actually think this is like the last in this series too so i uh really did it wrong <laughs> i think something i've really enjoyed too is just that you get to see more of like the depth of these characters that we've known and loved mrs potts is a huge character obviously she's not a main character but she plays a really big part in this role and in gaston's life and i love mrs pot i've always just found her so like comforting and so i really love seeing like how her character is explored in this book obviously in addition to Gaston and the prince who like we knew would be a big focus of this book but yeah it's just been really fun to see and like Mr. Cogsworth too is like a big role in this so it is just so fun if you love any of the characters from Beauty and the Beast you will 100% love this but yeah okay I'm gonna finish this I don't know if the term is the same for books as it is for like TV shows and movies, but I literally just started this chapter and they've like broken the fourth wall. They technically did that right at the beginning too. Um, but yeah, very interesting. And I feel like personally attacked because they are talking about if you didn't read the books in order, I'm like, that's me. That's me, I did that. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I messed up. Like I feel like convicted right now. I have such a dopey smile on my face right now because the lines are exactly aligned with the lyrics from, I think, is the song name just Gaston, I think, but it's, wow, you didn't miss a shot, Gaston. LeFou seemed gobsmacked by Gaston's talent. You're the greatest hunter in the whole world. I know, said Gaston. Huh, no beast alive stands a chance against you, and no girl for that matter. It's true, LeFou, and I've got my sights set on that one. And you know how the rest of the song goes, but I literally am just like smiling like this. I love it so much. I just like sang the entire song in my head so I could get to the title. The title is definitely not Gaston, though that is a song, I think a little bit later. I'm pretty sure the title of the song is just Belle.
Okay, I'm finished and I love this book. I'm so excited to see how the other ones compare, but I am like, it's taking everything in me not to just like run to Barnes and Noble right now and buy all the other ones in the series and start from the very beginning. I think I was just talking to Dom about this book and filling him in. I've been like filling him in every step of the way. We were saying it's really cool that like it's a separate story from the movie, but it only supplements the movie. Like it makes the movie that much better. And again, I know like they were written and like done at completely different times, but I feel like it's just so cool to see like the backstory of this villain that we all like know and like love slash hate. And it was just like absolutely perfect. And it really wasn't until the last like couple of chapters that then, you know, like I read y'all the part with the song, which was so fun, but it really wasn't until the end where you're like, oh yeah, okay, like I know this because I've seen the movie and I know what's gonna happen, but then even having the like inner dialogue of Gaston and everything that he was thinking all the way through the end, I just loved it. I loved it. I feel like I need some time to digest, but also I'm like, I want to launch into whatever book I choose next immediately. I think I'm gonna cook dinner and then I'll probably pick whichever book I'm going to start next. I'm so excited. I'm definitely gonna do a little more research before picking my next one, just to see if any of the other ones, if they're also supposed to be read in a particular order, because I really just grabbed them based off of like what looked good to me. But yeah, I loved this one. And especially if you're a Beauty and the Beast fan, highly recommend. a little rough because I did indeed stay up until 1.30 a.m. finishing this book. Oh my gosh. I will say, I would never stay up that late, even probably to like binge read a book that I was loving, but Dawn was staying up that late to finish up some work, and so I was like, well, might as well just keep reading. I'm also, you know, repping Disney and Hercules today and with this hat too, but y'all, oh my gosh. I did not realize when I grabbed this one, Jen Kalanita, who's the author of this, I did not realize that she was also the author of one of my favorite series when I was a teenager. So that also might be a reason why I love this. But if you read the um, Secrets of My Hollywood Life series, which there were like probably four or five books at least in that series, absolutely loved them. I've been looking up like all the different authors before reading them and saw all those covers. And I was like, I feel like a memory was just unlocked, but that is besides the point. The premise of this book is just too good. It is another like what if scenario. And the scenario of this is what if Meg had to become a Greek God and in order to stay with Hercules, Hera sends her out on a quest. She has 10 days to complete it. If she completes it, then she is able to become a God and stay with Hercules. And if not, then she obviously will still be mortal. So she will have to go back to Earth. Hercules will stay up in Mount Olympus as a god and the only way they can stay together is if she completes the quest and y'all I cried. You saw it in the clips last night. It was so good and just like unexpectedly sentimental and emotional. I just like was not prepared for all the things that happened in this book and I feel like the character development. I Hades is I know I just said that Gaston is one of my favorite villains but really Hades is like my favorite villain. I love him. And so I feel like it's just so fun. Same thing with like the Gaston book, just like hearing 
everything in like Meg and Hades voices. I will say for this one, it is definitely way more focused on Meg than it is on Hercules. He's in it a little bit here and there. And obviously the whole point is that she wants to be with Hercules. Um, but yeah, it's way more focused on Meg and some other characters that are introduced, but it was truly phenomenal. Essentially it's just a continuation on from the movie and like, oh, well what if this happened right after? And I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed the left, like what if perspective on the story. Anytime there's like specific scenes or like dialogue from the movie or the songs, I personally really love it. I am sure some people might see that as cheesy, but I am like all, I'm here for it. I'm not like, I have no issues with any cheesiness, especially when it comes to Disney. So I love this one. It is taking everything in me not to run to Barnes and Noble or to the bookstore and get every other like Jen Calanita book. I feel like I have just like, a part of me has been missing and I feel like this completes some of it. <laughs> I think overall I'm definitely more of like a Hercules girl more than a Beauty and the Beast girl. I definitely think I favored this one more and I can't even really like pinpoint why. Maybe after I've read all of them I'll be able to compare a little bit more since, since I've only read two of these so far. There's really not too much to like compare but yeah I like genuinely just loved this one so much. I've got a handful of meetings today. My next one starts in about 10 minutes and I just need to get a lot of work done but I am hoping to end all of my work early so that I can get started on this next one. Fate be changed all about Merida. I was so excited. I love Merida. Dom and I were talking about it on our walk this morning and I was like, I feel like I used to really love her because obviously we both have like the red curly hair, but I like wasn't crazy about the movie when it came out. And then we just rewatched it last year, I think on our first trip to Disney, we watched Brave. And I was like, how did I forget this movie is so good? Like it is so good. I feel like it is so underrated. I don't think Merida gets the love that she deserves. And this is another one of the what if like scenarios. I really like it, but instead of it being like, like the Hercules one was kind of like, what if this is like what kept happening, kept happening after the movie? This is more like, what if the entire plot was different? Like what if Merida didn't give what the witch gave her to her mom and she ended up taking it herself. So that's the premise of this one. So I feel like it'll be obviously completely different from the movie because it's essentially like, well, what if this had happened instead? And then we'll see it pan out. It's about a hundred pages longer than either of the other two. We'll find out. Like I said, I have a couple meetings, but I'm definitely planning on starting this today. So I'll keep y'all updated. pages in right now and I'll be honest I did not fully read the descriptions of like any of these books and so when things are happening I am like gasping out loud and then I just went and double checked and like the thing that shocked me was literally in the description of what this book is about so I feel like I won't be spoiling it for y'all if you just read what the book is about but if you are trying to go in completely blind then you might want to skip through to just like a few more minutes in it to be talking about this but I just passed, or probably like 20 pages ago, I passed the part where Merida, Merida has already like eaten the cake, she's gone to the witch, and she wakes up and a young Eleanor, her mom, is like standing in front of her holding like a knife or a sword in front of her face. I literally gasped because I was not expecting that and so now it's really fun she's still trying to like put all the pieces together of like what the heck is happening. It's really fun and it also switches perspectives between Merida and young Eleanor, which is so fun. There's definitely been more of Merida's perspective right now, but the next chapter I'm about to start is Eleanor's perspective. So I feel like that is really fun. I am really curious what I'll think afterwards of this one and how it compares, but I'm loving it so far. Okay, I am about halfway through this book and am hoping that I can just read for the rest of the afternoon and just finish it. I had a run this morning. If you caught that vlog, that is, that's the same day. I am struggling a little bit, but luckily like a book in bed is exactly what I need. So yeah, I'm a little over halfway and I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I think it is so fun to get more of a perspective and just like, character development of her mom and who her mom was as like a little girl as a teenager and same with her dad too and so the book it's kind of all of them and now together and so I just really love that we get to see more of their stories so we'll see what ends up happening but like I feel like at the end of most chapters I'm like I gotta keep reading Okay, 
I just finished and I loved this one too. Surprise, surprise. I actually think now, like thinking back on the three, I think I enjoy the Twisted Tale series a little bit more than the villain series. I'm not even sure if I can pinpoint like why and maybe I need to try a couple more of the villains ones but I just love this idea of like what if these beloved stories that we have all watched for years like what if they had turned out differently I just think that is so fun I love the introduction of like some of the different characters and just love that we get more of the character development which you get in the villains series too but yeah I just I just love how they've all panned out honestly I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna read all the villain series too so it's not like I didn't enjoy those I think if I'm just like comparing the two I enjoyed the Twisted Tale series a little bit more and I think they were maybe just like a little bit more fun like the writing was maybe just like a little more casual and fun I don't know I feel like I'm really bad at like describing why I love the books that I love but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm definitely going to be going to the bookstore to buy more. I genuinely want to buy the entire series of both of them because they are so good. And I hope you had so much fun watching this video because I truly had so much fun filming it for you guys. And I'm really excited just to hear your thoughts and if you've read these books or if not now maybe you want to go and read them. And again, especially as like a Disney lover and an avid reader. I truly cannot believe it took me this long to discover these book and books and to start to read them. I'm so excited. So definitely leave a comment below if you've read them and what your thoughts are and I'll see you in the next vlog.